Cook's Kitchen. I am going to teach you how to make delicious red beans in 18 minutes cooking time. And we are going to do this because you're going to come in to my magical realism kitchen. Okay, now we're going to place the beans in the pot with the water that we had on them all night last night. Add just about half an inch above the beans of water. And we're going to put the two carrots in there. Then the rack. And we're going to add the tomatoes, the cilantro, the green pepper, and it can be green pepper, red pepper, yellow pepper, any kind of pepper. And another tomato. Now we're going to cover this and then after it cooks we're going to add the salt. So here come the beans. Remember we had the beans and the carrots in the bottom, the onions, the tomato and the green pepper on top. Basically because it's easier to pick them up this way since we're going to blend them with some of the beans and the carrot. Oh, this is going to be amazing and these are I mean, dried beans. Okay, now we're gonna get this cover out from the pot. And we're gonna set it aside while we remove the carrots and this liquid that you see on top of it. Look at these carrots, look how amazing they are. Oh my God. They're gonna blend fantastically. You know, it's gonna be no problem with this liquid on top of the beans. This liquid is going to be used to blend the first group of vegetables that we had on top plus the carrots and then we're going to add everything in there and salt because we don't add salt to the beans at the beginning of the cooking time. Cups, so we can get some of this delicious liquid so we can blend Carrot. The thing we did with the vegetable, with the carrots, blend them with some of the liquid from the beans. Add the cover. Now we're going to blend it just like we did with the other part. And of course, if you have a large blender, you can blend everything at once. Okay, now we're gonna add the blended carrots with the beans and some of the liquid that we had left over and check this out. As soon as we mix everything into the beans, you are gonna have a most amazing red beans ever. Just a sec so that everything gets blended. When, once they cool, once the, the beans cool down, just place them in Ziploc bags, flatten them, and freeze them. That way you will be able to defrost them in seconds. And this will be a fantastic dinner. I have an idea that we're going to do today, and we're going to mix with a little bit of Italian dressing, some yogurt to add it on top of the soup. So we mix a little bit of this yogurt with a tablespoon of Italian dressing and this is going to make a fantastic topping. We're going to add a dollop of this delicious savory yogurt mixed with the Italian dressing to our soup. Oh, that's going to taste out of this world. And here we have it. We can serve it like this. You can have it with an arepa, you can have it with a piece of toast, you can have it with some rice, and it is done. You can also add a teeny bit of cilantro that we took from the other dish. And here we have our two dishes. This is going to be so, so good. Look at the beautiful color it takes with the yogurt and the 
taste that the Italian dressing has is amazing with the beans. Taste this. Mm. That is so, so good. I would even dip some French bread into the bean soup because it is amazing. It is out of this world and so, so healthy and completely natural. Okay, beans are one of my home's favorite foods. They are something we make every week. Mm. Perfectly cooked, delicious, tender, but not squishy. Oh, these are delicious. They are all natural and they are made in 